We're here in Forest Hills at the old Westinghouse facility site. They have fences here. They have locks and chains. This was once a very secure facility because of that item over there. The old Westinghouse Atom Smasher now has a sad shadow of itself down on its side. Its foundation gone. But we've learned what it would cost to get it upright. This light bulb shaped icon stood stories high before demolition brought it down. Westinghouse built it, the world's first industrial particle accelerator here in the 1930s. We obtained this consultant cost estimate from developer Gary Silversmith, who now owns the smasher and the site. It says it will cost nearly $200,000 to repair and raise it on a new foundation. Community reaction? I think it would be well spent because it's history, you know, and that's, uh, you know, since 1937 when they first split the atom here. Silversmith tells us he's working aggressively to raise the money to raise the smasher. A Westinghouse spokesman now tells me, quote, we are interested in preserving it. We're investigating a number of avenues and we'll look at the site in the next day or two. Last month, the CEO of Westinghouse told me. It's unfortunately big and, and that's a problem because it's big and, and but it is an icon and it's a Pittsburgh icon and it's certainly uh, something that, uh, that, you know, we're going to be a part of. It's kind of sad to see history pass when something's going down like that, but, you know, what lies ahead is the future, and if they're going to develop it with apartments and some type of storage stuff, it's a big lift to this community. We've checked again with both the Carnegie Science Center and the Heinz History Center. They say something that large, no matter how historic or how important it is to science history, is not something that they could include in their facilities. In Forest Hills, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.